the public comment section of our agenda. Um, Kimberly, do we have any speakers? Yes, we do. Phil Romano, followed by Jess Thomas. Phil Romano, 6025 Chesbrough Road to Gora Hills. Um, I had the pleasure to serve on the Planning Commission for this city for 10 years, and as part of that duty, I got yearly training uh, from the League of California Cities in all aspects of public meetings and ethics. <clears throat> they actually had me become part of, of running a workshop on ethics one year. In fact, Mr. Mayor, I think I remember you being at that session. Uh, I see also that Larry Brown is here again to speak tonight, and probably Kimberly will call his name at some point. He shared with me some city documents that he requested, and uh, just a cursory review of some of those surprised me. Uh, when then Mayor Weber had convened two council members to deal with the Chesborough Meadow property, I knew that was the proper way to have negotiations outside of a public hearing. But then some of the documents that, uh, that Larry shared showed that Mayor Weber also had some communications with the developer's lobbyist on Dusenblon as part of the process. So my training made me look at that as a possible red flag. Uh, since once a third council person gets involved in the development deal that's not open to the public, it could be considered an illegal s serial meeting, according to the Brown Act governmental uh, open government law. So you may now be regretting sending me for all those trainings, but I'd love to find out if the city attorney has um, any need to consider that. That's, that's the purpose of my speaking tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Next. Jess 